What if everything you see isn't real? You're watching this video, feeling the warmth of the room, hearing the sounds outside. But what if it's all just code? An illusion? A brilliant simulation created by something or someone beyond your understanding. This isn't a movie plot. It's a serious hypothesis supported by scientists, philosophers, and even tech visionaries like Elon when, Musk. When I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? Today, I'll show you five real scientific proofs that our world is nothing more than a program. Reality is about to crack. Or is it just a glitch in the system? Have you ever experienced deja vu? Or did you find something in your hands that you don't remember picking up? Have you ever felt time suddenly slow down? Like just before an accident? Before a major event? or when you lock eyes with someone? Physicist James Gates discovered something shocking in the fundamental equations of physics. The ones that describe the structure of space, time, and the universe itself. Deep inside, he found a hidden code, a binary code, just like in computer programs. If our universe runs on code, then who wrote it? Maybe reality is running on some kind of software. And when that software glitches, we notice strange things happening. What if deja vu isn't just a trick of the mind, but a system reboot? A moment when reality resets a fragment of time, and for a brief second, we realize we've seen it before. Like a memory loading into the wrong place. If you zoom in on an image, it eventually turns into pixels. Now, scientists have discovered that matter itself also has the smallest, indivisible unit. The Planck length. Sounds like video game graphics, doesn't it? And now, imagine this. In open-world video games, there's always a limit to how far you can go. Walk too far, and you hit an invisible wall, or start seeing glitches. Physicists tested if our universe has such walls. And they found them. The edge of the observable universe behaves as if the world is being rendered in real time. Just like a game. In the quantum world, something bizarre happens. Imagine a tiny particle that exists in two places at once, but the moment someone observes it, it suddenly chooses one location. It's like a video game, where the world only renders where you're looking. If reality works this way, then who or what is the ultimate observer? We already have VR games where you can fully immerse yourself in a virtual world. Imagine what will be possible in 50, 100, or 500 years. Neural interfaces, quantum computing, artificial intelligence. Technology is evolving so fast that in just a few decades, we might be able to create simulations so realistic 
that they are indistinguishable from reality. But here's the real question. What if we're already in one? Philosopher Nick Bostrom suggested that if even one civilization has ever created a perfect simulation, then it's very likely that we are already inside one. If the universe is a simulation, the chances that your world is the original are almost zero. After all, if we can create virtual worlds, how many might have already been created before us? Now, the main question. If this is a simulation, then why was it created? There are several hypotheses. One, we are a virtual experiment. Perhaps we are part of a giant scientific project. Someone is studying how consciousness evolves by simulating different scenarios and adjusting parameters. Our past might be a pre-programmed historical process, and our observers could be a civilization existing outside the simulation. Two, we are consciousness trapped in a simulation. Some philosophers and mystics suggest that our reality is a kind of test or a cosmic prison. What if our memories were erased and our minds placed into this illusion to undergo some kind of trial or to be kept in a state of ignorance? In this case, deja vu and our awareness of glitches in reality might be attempts by our consciousness to remember the truth. Three. We are just entertainment like The Sims or an endless movie for a higher civilization. Perhaps someone is watching our world the way we observe characters in a game or reality show. They might even be playing with us, altering details of reality or interfering with the course of history. Four. We are a self-evolving artificial intelligence. Another theory suggests that the simulation was not created by an external God programmer, but by the universe itself. Perhaps reality is a computational system, and we are its elements, designed to find meaning, evolve, and generate new levels of reality. But here's the real question. If we are in a simulation, can we escape it? If reality is a code, then it makes sense that there could be loopholes, errors, or ways to hack it. Some theorists suggest that simply realizing the simulation exists is already a step toward breaking free. Maybe our task is to learn to see the boundaries of this reality and rewrite its rules. Or even find those who control the simulation. Others believe that if an escape exists, it may be within us. In altered states of consciousness, deep meditation, or experiences that erase the line between illusion and reality. But here's what's truly unsettling. What happens if we find the exit? Will we be granted access to the next level? Or will the system simply shut down and reboot? Of course, there is no absolute proof that we live in a simulation. But every year, scientists discover more and more strange anomalies in the structure of our reality. Now. 
the question for you. Do you believe in the simulation hypothesis? Or do you think it's just an intriguing theory? If reality is a code, the real question is not whether we can escape, but who holds the key?